Hey gang, DVD Collector or James back here on Horoscope and it is Guilty Pleasure Week. Guilty Pleasure Week just simply means something that you like to watch and uh, you kind of feel like you need to uh, justify why you like to watch it, but you still watch it. Um, I don't feel guilty about a lot of things that I watch. My first instinct was to do uh, one of the Alien vs. Predator movies because I'm a huge Aliens fan, but you know, as I started looking at the wall, I realized that the movie that I picked, I really enjoy it, and even though it was made for TV, um, I like it, and I, I think I have to, as far as a horror, and I think a lot of horror fans like this movie, so my Guilty Pleasure Week's not a real, real good, a good pick, because once again, like I said, I don't feel guilty. My Guilty Pleasure would be outside of horror. It would be something, uh, you know, something that doesn't, you know, like, uh, I often talk about, uh, Hustle and Flow, uh, The Notebook, stuff like that would be guilty pleasures to me. A guilty pleasure horror movie is just bad. A bad movie that you like, which I could have done numerous full moon movies or stuff like that, but I picked this one just because I want to get it out there and get people to see this movie if you haven't already seen it. I really enjoy this movie a lot. It's got a lot of substance to it, and without further ado, what I'm getting at is Bad Ronald. Um, I bought this from the Warner Brothers Archive Collection on WarnerBrothersShop.com. I think that's the only way you can get it. This is the actual copy. It's not a bootleg. This is an actual DVD copy of this. Basically, what this is, is Ronald and his mother have this really weird Norman Batish type of relationship. It's kind of an odd relationship. The father's gone. Always had is his mother, and she doesn't want him to be around girls. She doesn't want him to be around, you know, friends, stuff like that. Well, he gets caught up with wanting to be friends, so he goes out and has, you know, tries to have a good time, and he gets rejected. He comes home and he's sad. Well, you know, that's what we think. But during that time, on his way home. He gets in a little skirmish with a young girl on a bicycle and he accidentally kills her. She says some really horrible things about his mother and about him and he pushes her, her head hits a rock, she dies. He, in, uh, Without thinking about it, he buries her and comes home and tells his mom. Well, they get this bright idea to convert a bathroom into a hidden wall so it just looks like a piece of the wall and um, they have a little compartment in their in their uh, pantry where he can go in and out. And he's to live in there. They think he ran away. She tells the cops he ran away. And basically that's fine. Well, his mother's very sick. She's got gallbladder problems. She tells him she's going to go to surgery and that she'll be gone for four days. So she stocks him with food. Not to come out till she hears from him. Well, it's been a long time. She hasn't heard from him. Apparently she died in the uh, on the operating table, just a freak accident. It's not a major surgery. It probably was back in the 70s. Though. This is from the 70s. 1974. Good year. But anyway, uh, so he finds out the news that his mother's dead when they start to sell the house. And of course, the longer he goes, he's created this fantasy world um, through his art and writing of stories. And he, the longer he's in there, the more psychosis go he goes through and he becomes this person and he just goes nutty and uh, he preys on the vic the people of the house and that's the story and that's bad Ronald and it's a really good movie it's a really good made for TV movie I recommend this to any horror fan that's never seen it not to mention just regular people it's not scary it's so if you're not a horror fan if you're just watching horoscope because you like the people that review movies on here and you like what we have to say then go ahead and uh check it out too you know if you're not a horror fan check it out i, I know you'll enjoy it you can find it you can still find it on uh um, warnerbrothersshops.com so there it is bad ronald this kicks off the rest of the week for everybody i'm always on monday so check out everybody else's guilty pleasures and see what they come up with all right i'm sure it's going to be i'm sure it's going to be amazing so until next time guys later